All right, now we're painting a canopy. We're looking straight up through a canopy of leaves. And so I'm gonna use a lot of my translucency effect. I want the colors that look like light coming through leaves, not just bouncing off of leaves. So I'll start with bright white in the middle and I'm just giving myself a good amount of wet paint to work with. Then I'm gonna move to my yellow and put a layer of brightest leaves that are up in the light and they are just so illuminated that they are just yellow, maybe a tiny bit of green. Let's go a tiny, tiny bit of green. So out here we're gonna want more green, but I'm gonna run out of blue and then I'm gonna come and mix it into the yellow. Now here we have a very yellow green. And so these will be just slightly yellow green, all these leaves. And we're gonna put them coming down like this. And because we're looking up and so we don't wanna have a, a top and a bottom of this picture necessarily. We just want to have it so that the light is coming straight through the middle of it. And I instinctively put that light toward the top. So I'm going to, I'm going to change that as I progress and make it so that this doesn't necessarily have the light coming from the top, but just from the middle. So my yellowest green is my first layer of color. And so I'm going to put that all over this area around the white, my bright yellow green. So there's yellow, tiny bit of blue, and a lot of white right in here. So this is what happens when light shines through leaves as they get yellower. They move toward yellow. It's still green, maybe it's completely yellow. You know, maybe if you took a picture and held it up, maybe it would be completely yellow, but I know that it moves toward yellow, it gets yellower. So then, as the light comes through the forest, through the canopy rather, it's going to not be as bright and it's not going to have that effect as much. So after I do that first layer, I'm gonna put another layer of greener leaves. Now, as I add green, I'm also gonna add just a little bit of black because I'm not trying to have super vivid greens, I'm just trying to have the effect of, of getting yellower as it gets brighter. So here's my second layer, still a very light green, and I'm going to put it in front of my lighter yellower green. And I'm gonna put little patches. It doesn't have to be in exact rings, you know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna break, my, break my patterns a little bit so that I don't just have rings of color. Here I have lots of my darker green. Let's do a little bit more. Let's go black, blue, and lots of yellow. Here, get some of this, put it in here. Get a little bit of that black right here. Okay. Let's get this darker green in here. So I want to see all my three colors now. I've got more of the yellow up here next to the white. There's definitely more yellow. And then maybe I'll also have, here, let's just put a patch of darker leaves because I just don't want to have a circle of light right there in the middle. Okay, so I'm just making these little leaf shapes. I'm still in my light, furthest away canopy colors. Okay, I'm gonna come up here, fill that in some more, come down here, fill this in some more, put a little bit of black in here, make this darker. And then maybe I will just put my bright yellow and white green way over here in between as well. Make this just coming way over here. Let's put a tiny bit of green in there. Make some bright light popping through the edge of this picture right here as well. Wherever I want to make the light coming through the canopy, I just make all the greens get a lot more yellow as they get brighter. Okay, <coughs> now I'm going to fill this in, get darker. I'm going to take some more of my real bright yellow because I just feel like it'll look good if I go right here with it. Make some more light shining through there. Bright white, yellow around the white lighter yellow or green, 
Now we've got some light shining. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> okay, halfway done, halfway done. Okay, we're filling up the canvas. We've got brighter color in here. Okay, let's go darker green now. Let's go black. Let's grab some of this. Black, blue. We've got a darker green now, and we're just going to start putting this on here. I'm going to put more yellow in that to make it more green. So more yellow. Darker green. Okay, now we're making more leaves, and I'll even make them bigger because they're closer. So the idea is that this green is just a lot less affected by the light, by that translucent effect. It doesn't have as much of the yellow in it. So wherever I have a, a big drippy spot, I might put a leaf right there just to get rid of it. Let's put some dark colors here. We'll turn this like this. Now we'll start painting this way because we don't want this to have the top and the bottom. You can see from painting landscapes for so long how my strokes favor the, the horizontal direction, so I'm going to flip it and just do it this way so that it has more of a no top side, no bottom feel. We're just going to make it more even all around. Okay. Now let's make a really dark closest layer. So let's put lots of black in here. This is already dark, so that'll be the easiest spot to make a dark closest layer. And put a lot of yellow in there. Okay, darkest green. Now we've got some leaves that are real close. Like this. The dark really comes forward. And then let's just put a little bit of white highlight on that dark so that it's a little bit of indirect light just hitting this, some of that real shadowy forest light just hitting that black. You can just do that with some white because it makes a very gray color in comparison to everything else. Just makes the white enough that it's not bright. Then I have these closer leaves. Kind of looks like a canopy of aspens now. Okay, do that. Now I can put some branches going across here. Let's add a little bit of this maroon color because when that mixes with the green, I'm definitely going to get a brown. So let's go like this and put it on in here, and then it's gonna get lighter and lighter as it goes through here. Like this, put a few branches in there, like this. Maybe just a few big branches that look like they're going upward. And I'm gonna grab the colors, all that yellow color, I'm gonna to try to just grab that and put it along the edges of these branches to give them the look like, like they're Two buried minutes. in this. Am I out of time? Two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Okay. We've got a branch going through this way, like this. Let's put a branch this way. Look at that happy accident. I've got dark in the middle without even trying. It just automatically did that because of my brush. But what I want to see is lighter on the edges from the canopy and then darker in the middle in order to get my three-dimensional look of this branch. So let's put a little bit of black right through the middle so that it's backlit. This is a backlit tree. That's what it is. So black right through the middle, here, black there, and then it's gonna look further away wherever I do this. And then I can paint some negative space. Let's get a clean brush. And somewhere up in here, I can do a little bit of blue sky if I want to here. Let's do a little bit of blue and magenta and white. And we can actually do just a little bit of blue sky popping through. Put a little here, put a little here, put it on both sides of this branch, like this. Let's put more white in here. You can put some blue in there. Wherever I put these little bits of real light blue, but the paint's kind of wet and it's mixing. And that might have been a mistake to put it on there. Let's see if I can save it before the time runs out. Blue and magenta, lots of white. We need lots and lots of white. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Let's put some sky popping through this canopy right here. Okay. And now I'm going to come back and try to save my brightest layer. Okay, let's put a little bit of sky on this side. And then we'll put a little bit of sky on this side as well. Ten, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four. four. Three, 